previously on Balls. Richard Goff. Hello. Hey, Richard, how are you doing? I'm all right, sir. Yourself? Very good. Thanks. Nice to chat to you again. No problems. Have we caught you at the office or are you at home? No, no, just uh, um, at, at home. At home. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we were, um, um, we were t- talking about in the name of Martin oh, okay, Cohen. Martin Cohen came up today. Uh, were What's you, that? I said the name of Martin Cohen came up with John today. I know you're not with him at the moment. No, no, no. That's where I'm staying. I'm staying you're staying at a... Gee, I haven't heard his name since the old NFL days. He played uh, Highlands Park, right? Yes, of course. He had the best sort of Afro hairstyle, I think, at one stage. <laughs> yeah. But no Afro, no more. Yeah, there's no more here anymore, <laughs> no I'd imagine. No more, that's gone. Yeah, what a player. Hey? He was yeah, one of those players player. that, uh, if you were a Cape Town City fan, you didn't like because he constantly was a thorn in your side. Yeah, he was a good player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gee, some names. How you doing, all right? I'm good, sir. I'm good, sir. I'm good. How, how are Rangers going in uh, in the lower leagues there? Obviously not getting much press on their performance. Have they, are they winning all their games still? They haven't lost anything, have they? No, they haven't lost anything, but they, they won their first away game for... Uh, in about four games, you know, on the weekend there. So, um, yeah, things are going fine. They're top of the league. They'll get promotion. They're breaking every record in sight for a uh, fourth division <laughs> team. <laughs> Crowds of 50,000. Gee, it's amazing. Um, uh, how many, so, uh, what percentage of their players did they actually manage to retain? Well, only really retain two. Is the it? Goalkeeper, yeah. Neil Alexander and um, McCulloch, Lee McCulloch. Yeah. And, um, uh, so that's the only two they've really retained, you know. That's loyalty for you, hey? You know, so, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely to play in the third division. I don't think there'll be many other. Uh, you know, most of them have gone. I mean, you saw Naismith the other day. He's playing for, uh, he's playing for Everton. Mm. Um, Wittig has gone to Norwich. Yeah. McGregor has gone to Besiktas in, uh, in Turkey. Most of them have gone. Yeah. yeah, so it'll be a new look Rangers side when they eventually get back into the Premier League, I would imagine. Oh, Those guys are yeah. not going to come back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, on the upside, they will certainly uh, have a record. They'll break Juventus' record of a number of consecutive uh, un- unbeaten games, probably. What are you doing about that? They already got beaten already. They got beat by Sterling Albion about two weeks ago. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got to do your homework, lad. You've got to do your homework. I was <laughs> say, we don't hear much about the fourth division in Scotland. We're lucky if we get Premier League scores these days. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Well, I see Celtic got beaten, uh, what was it, over the weekend? Yes, it did. But yeah, that was, that's coming on the back of um, having a heartbreaking result for them in uh, Barcelona. Yeah. Right? That was a pretty uh, good performance they put up there. Very brave. Well, it's as good as a team I've seen uh, against Barcelona for a while. I mean, Barcelona scored in 47 minutes and uh, mm. 94 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, they defended very well. Awesome stuff. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. But, and, but everyone tries that to do that against Barcelona, but you end up losing five 0 <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, they were they were unlucky. Yeah. Very unlucky. Now, what, what are your thoughts on this whole uh, Mark Clattenberg issue that's uh, that's re- that's reared its ugly head and <laughs> mouthing off at players on the field? Oh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's taken it too far now. I mean, I, I don't think Clattenberg had a good game. Mm. There was a few bad decisions he made, but you know what? The, the, there's always been banter with referees. So now, if they go to the, you know, the players could have a bit of banter with them. When I was playing, you, you know, you could say the referee, Geez, man, come on, man, you're having a nightmare. And he, he would say things like, "Well, you, you're not having such a great game yourself, Goffey, or something." You know. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, what did he do? He never racially abused him. I mean, I mean, you know, the players are always on at the referees, always on at the referees, and the referee can't have a chirp back. Yeah. yeah, come on. Mm, I suppose particularly great. when you when you hear what the guys sitting in the stands are are, are singing and saying uh, oh, some of the stuff is. Like, I mean, it's taking it too far now. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, the, the, and the TV now it's you know it's so intrusive that you know they got mind, they got lip readers, they've got all sorts of things now. It's, it's a joke. But if you look at the abuse that the refs cop at the hands of the players and how the players talk to each other, I find it extremely ironic when uh, if he did say that that everyone's all up in arms. Yeah, well, 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 I mean, what was he supposed to have said? Spanish twat. He called uh, Juan Mata a Spanish twat. Oh, did he? Did yeah. He? Okay. <laughs> so maybe, maybe it's a little further than referees go. And apparently yeah. he said to John Obi McCall, it's a free kick to Chelsea, which they took high fi- um, a lot of offence to. That's what? A free kick to Chelsea. Because <laughs> they weren't expecting that. All <laughs> oh, right. So, I mean, uh, it just shows you, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, so the, the referee... Uh, and Clarenberg's one of the better referees, to be fair. So, I mean, I hope, I hope 
you know, nothing comes of it. Uh, he just had a bad game, like we all do at the office. And so the sooner, you know, like the technology comes in, uh, the better, I think, you know, for, for, for decisions. I mean, there was a decision in the other game as well, the mm. Liverpool game. Liverpool could really get a goal. And how the linesman puts his flag up for say the, you know, no one knows. Yeah. You know, so, and it's, and it's easy. It's a two second thing. You've got, you've got hundreds of millions of people watching all over the world. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's a two second thing just to say the, to the linesman, son, you've made a mistake. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Richard, what do you make of uh, Gerard accusing Everton of using long ball tactics? Do you agree with him? Well, as an ex Evertonian, I don't, no. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I I mean, I thought Everton were going to win the game. They've got far, but they've got better players for me than Liverpool have at the moment. You know, Fellaini. They use they, they they play to their strengths, but uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that uh, they're anywhere near. You know, Stoke. They play good football. Everton. Pino was missing on the weekend, but uh, they play very good football and uh, they do play their strengths. And um, I think Gerrard's just saying that because they haven't got anyone who can go and head the ball in their yeah. team. And they're yeah. lucky that they, um, you know, every set piece uh, ever to look very dangerous. And you just use you use your strengths. Yeah. And obviously against Liverpool, who are a team of midgets at the moment, you might as well, <laughs> might as well do that. <laughs> <laughs> very easy. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. It's fantastic. <laughs> Where, uh, at the well, stage, I mean, you look at Suarez, you look at Allen, you look at other than two boys in the in the, in the central defence, they haven't got a player over five foot. Over five for eleven, I don't think. You yeah. can stop now. Yeah, that's no, true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do, do you think Torres is going to be back there pretty soon? Because I, I, was, I was reading things about you know uh, one of the guys was writing that um, Torres will never get over his love affair with Liverpool, and uh, and that that's always going to hamper him. No, I don't think so. I don't think he, I don't think he'll go back there. Mm. Um, uh, you know, I mean, he, he lost a bit of pace. He lost a, more than anything. He's lost confidence. Yeah, but he's he's you know. The season he had the previous season, he was he was awful. At least this season, he's running around a little bit, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, so you want? I don't. I don't think we'll ever see the Torres of oh, well. you know, twenty one, twenty two when he was lightning fast, you know, yeah. just running by players with the ball. I don't think we're going to see that again. Yeah. Um, but um, you know, I, I, I hope for the lad that he gets his confidence back, and uh, he seems to have been. You know, doing not too badly the last uh, the season anyway. Yeah. Uh, at this stage of the season, who do you see winning the Premier League? Um, oh, man, you know, you can't keep getting decisions like that. I think they'll walk it. <laughs> um, but um, you know, I, I, I can't see Man City winning it. Um, I think you know, for me, this se- this season, the best team has been Chelsea by a mile. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. You know, and they're playing a completely different style of football with Hazard and Oscar in the middle of the park and Mata, and, play, and they're a joy to watch. Um, and I thought they would have gone on to win the game quite comfortably the other day after giving Man United a two-nil start. Mm. And um, you know, decisions went against them. So I would, I would, I would, you know, if they keep their their main players in and and they keep Terry, if they get Terry back into the team and uh, Lampard back in and now and again, um, I think uh, Chelsea will win it. Yeah, it's amazing how when we talk football, every time there's always a decision, and how referees can actually influence the outcome of a of a team, especially in a key game like that. Yes. If you look at all the results and how, how often they actually get involved with stupid decisions, you wonder how things might have panned out if uh, we had technology. It's crazy. Yeah, I think. I mean, even the goals offside. Yeah. You know, so um, it's not. It wasn't only one decision. It's like two big decisions. Mm. Ivanovic has to go really. But other than that, two two big decisions, uh, mm. you know, really awful decisions. Yeah. All right, Rich, we uh, appreciate your time. Thanks a lot for chatting Thank to so us this much, afternoon. No problems at all, guys. All the best, man. Thank you very much, Richard. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Richard Goff joining us from Cape Town at the home of Martin Cohen. We can still get out. Today.